This is the book of 2nd Ezra chapter 15 and verse 6. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth and their hurtful works are fulfilled. I want to give all honor, glory, and infinite praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rechak Wadash. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, peace and salutations to the elect scattered abroad, pushing this truth in sincerity. Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rechak Wadash, Brakatham to Yuzakwanium, Waakim, Makwaf, you know, your elders, your brothers, your sisters, the whole full elect. Out there laboring, and keeping a commandment to the best of your ability, giving diligence to make your calling and election sure. And of course, keeping faith in the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His beloved Son, our Lord and our Savior and our King, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, in these last days, in these perilous times that we are living in. This is Brother Pshai, Ban Yashallah. And this be a quick lesson through the Spirit of Pavi HaBashim Al Shai. On this world is openly satanic. Balenciaga translate to Baal is the king, man. All right. Now, I came across this from Facebook. A couple of brothers posted it up on Facebook. And, you know, you know, being, you know, through the spirit, you know, like, and the scriptures going to the church of Berea, how they search the scriptures, see if those things were so, you know, so I, you know, looked it up. OK, I looked it up and I'm going to put it on the screen right here. As you can clearly see, when you look up um, Balenciaga, right, and you translate it, you know, to the um to the English from Latin was Latin who spoke Latin the Romans okay so we translated from Latin okay to the English is but all is the king okay but all is the king but all in Siaga but all in in Siaga but all is the king that's literally what it means man okay now we look at regular Google definition of Balenciaga it says <clears throat> where's you at it says Balenciaga literally translate to do what you want, do what you want, equal do what thou wilt, do what thou wilt. It is the motto of the, the Lima, which is the esoteric philosophy created by prominent occultists slash Satanists, Alistair Crowley, man. Okay, so it's openly satanic, it's openly wicked, man. All right, and people, you know, they they. You know, Jake, you know, really spend, you know, all their money on these different designer brands. Remember the wild back Gucci, you know, had the little, the, um, the black face, you know, a lot of just, you know, racial type things. They're stere um, stereotyping Jake, you know, Balenciaga recently too. I'm sure these pictures right here as well. You know, you got the picture with the, you know, the Balenciaga with the teddy bear and the teddy bear is a toy, you know, mainly for children, man. All right. And he's showing children as well with the teddy bear. And the teddy bear has what? Chains around his neck, chains on his arms. It looks like there's the type of fetishes that Edomites love doing with different pornographies, which, you know, um, and also sex trafficking rings. I'm going to say that. But we know um, pornography was funded by the small hats. OK. And a lot of these different um, CEOs for these different, you know, um, companies and stuff like that, they get their ideas from the small hats where they see happening in the cult, you know, ritualistic type ceremonies or orgies, stuff like that, where they basically like the, the person that came up with, with certain, you know, categories of brands in, in the in the porn industry, they got it from watching um, the executives pop their female artists or male artists in horrific, degrading, hum um, humiliating ways, ritualistic ways, man. All right. And we know this right here represents what the child, the child sex trafficking ring which they may take this video down, man. I'm saying a little bit too much. OK, low willingness stays up, but it's, it's the truth, uh, you know, and I remember the brother Shaq with was showing you, me and the brother Aliyah, you know, um, the wickedness of Esau, man, with the, um, the panda eyes, you know, when, you know, a child is so traumatized, his eyes just get real dark around, you know, you have that panda eyes. And I remember NBA young boy, a rapper, he he painted his eyes like that and painted his nails. You know, he had a whole song called Traumatized, man. So they did they done got to him, man. All right, but this right here, you know, Balenciaga is openly showing you how they literally what they be doing to children, man. They be tying them up, you know, raping them, you know what I'm saying? Um uh beating them, all right, and scaring them to the point where they, the adrenaline is rushing because he's so terrified, 
Then they kill him. Then they slice their throat, whatever the case may be, and let the blood drip out into a bucket or a bowl or a cup. Then they drink it and get high off adrenochrome, man. And they believe that, that that allows them to live a little longer. All right? That's why you go back to a certain witch that was bathing in blood and shit like that. That's where you get the term vamp vampires from. All right? The elites are the vampires, man. The different rich Edomites are vampires. And you got Jake's. That get, you know, kind of close up in that realm of riches and fame where they start participating in different acts. And they're, they're just practicing what they practicing what they were doing back in the ancient world, man. Worshipping Baal. Okay. Ba Balek. Molek. Okay. Balaam. Molek. Um, fucking all these different Canaanite gods. Go back to the Canaanites or Hamites, man. All right. And all these gods are idols. They're demons. Okay. The idols mean they don't exist. They, they can't really do nothing for you. And also they just left hand spirits that's fucking with people's minds. And he left his spirits to answer to the Most High Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, the God that we serve. We serve Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, man. These left hand spirits, they fear Yahweh Bashim Yahushai and they answer Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. It has been given to their hand, it's given to Satan on down, you know what I'm saying, to do whatever he wants in this world right now, man. Okay, doing his job is calling, he causing mischief and deceit and havoc and this evil. All right, and, so, and basically, ultimately, try to get people, you know, to, uh, to go down that path of wickedness, man. So that's going to lead to them getting hit by the missiles. The second death. The judgment of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. But not the elect. So you see these pictures, man. Balenciaga is, is totally wicked. Okay? It, it's satanic. It's demonic. All right? They got these little girls, you know, holding up a teddy bear that got all the different chains around his neck and around his body. And, we, and you know, we know what that, that represents, man. Do I, do I have to go further into it? Then we look at the teddy bear, like this one specific image right here that I'm looking at. The eyes look all weird and beaded. The teddy bear itself look like it's been um through hell. Okay? It looked dingy, like it's been through dirt and mud. That's all ritual rituals that they do, man. Okay? They beat the child up to a bloody pulp. You know, scare him, pop up with different. They do it, they do it, they do it in mask. You know, they probably have pig skin mask and like the like the fucking movie saw. All right, they they be dressing up on type of weird and shit like that, scaring the children. Don't forget about the um the Gadites that went on a picnic with wicked ass queen, well slut Elizabeth, who died recently, you know, and they all ended up missing, man. And they swept under the rug. Where are those children at, man? We know they was, they got their fucking blood drained out, man, and they probably buried the bodies, man. Okay, so this world is completely. Just wicked, man. These are the name brands that 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 run that you know that run the society, man. And by run the society, I mean a lot of jakes and people just run to these brands. They think they fly. Oh, I got Balenciaga. I got this. I got Gucci. You know, I got uh Ball Mains and all that shit is wicked. So, like I showed you, brothers and sisters, I was watching. Balenciaga literally translate to Baal is the king, man. You can look it up yourself as well. Go to Google. Go to translate. Go to Latin to the English and put Baal and Siaga and go translate to Baal as the king, man. That's what they worship. That's what they serve. You can look up on Google definition, period. What does Balenciaga mean in English? Balenciaga is a Latin word. Okay. And I already I read it already. Do what do as thou wilt. Was that a, a satanic quote, man? All right. Do what you want to do. Live it up. YOLO. All right. You want to be a if you're a man, you want to be a woman, do that. If you're a woman, want to be a man, do that. If you're a man want to see with men, do it. If you're a woman and want to see with women, go ahead. Do what you want to do. That's what America promotes. And that's all abomination inside of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Alright, if you want to be if you want to rape little children, do so. That's what America promotes, man. Okay? Nothing but wickedness. Alright? And Esau's the fucking devil. He may try to tw twist brothers' words up like we agree with this bullshit. Alright? So we not we yo, man. America is done. Let's go. I'm gonna get some more precepts. Okay, look at my second edges, right? Matter of fact, I can read Judges 2, right? When we judge the second chapter, our people were doing this back then, serving Baal. So Judges 2 and 11, and the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, and served Balaam, which is, you know, that's the plural term for Baal. And they forsook the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, power of, of their fathers, which brought them out of the land of Egypt and followed other gods. The gods of the gods are the people that were around about them. And bowed themselves unto them and provoked the Lord to anger, man. And that's what Jacob's doing today. Okay? That's what Jacob's doing today. And the Lord about to put two thirds to death in these last days. And only save a remnant, because only remnants returning to him in these last days. Alright? So let's read on. And he 
And they forsook the Lord and served Baal and Ashtaroth, man. different Canaanite gods. All right. So that always provoked the Lord with anger. That's the, the, the first commandment is, um, let me see. Exodus 20 and verse, I'll say verse 1. And a Mosai speak all these words, saying, I am Yahweh thy power, which I brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. That's what Egypt means. Slavery, captivity. We're in modern day Egypt right now. Sodom and Egypt. America, Babylon, the great. It says, Thou shalt have no other gods before me. So he's a jealous power, man. All right. It says, Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them, for I, Yahweh, thy power, am a jealous power, visiting the iniquity of the father upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Could you come back around that time for the third and fourth generation? Now, the Lord is a jealous God, man. He is the only true power, most high, the ancient of days, Yahweh, and be serving through his son, Yahweh Shai. All these other idols and gods, they're all demons. Okay, they're just that idols. People make rocks and and calves and, and bow to it like that should get answer to them man okay all idolatry and that's all america promotes and they openly they openly satanic with it man balenciaga literally means do as thou will i never knew that till today okay i never i remember Brush, brother shock with don was bringing information about this whole teddy bear situation with balenciaga spirit you know i didn't really get you know get dive too deep into it until today you know waking up this morning and seeing that and i'm like what the fuck man so spirit have to do this very quick. So just a quick lesson rebuking the wicked, man. All right. Let's get um Isaiah 60 and verse 1. All right. It says, uh, Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee, upon the elect. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. So the earth is covered in darkness right now. And gross darkness the people. And darkness means you're what they're void of light. The light is Yahweh shot. So they don't have this truth, man, the people in this world. So it's this world is just satanic, it's demonic, it's evil. These are the gods that they serve, like you see in the background. It says, but the Lord shall rise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee, man. Upon the elect. Okay. Let's go back to second address, the uh, second chapter. Second address, the six the fifteenth chapter. And I'm gonna start at verse um five. Behold, say the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction for wickedness. Have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Therefore, save the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit, neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. The different wicked, demonic, satanic practices they do. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood cry unto me, which is the elect. Those on the earth, you know, crying day and night, doing his work, pushing his videos out, praying to Yahweh Bashim to destroy um, Babylon and Baba Ball. And also those that pass on the spiritual realm was complaining to Yahweh Bashim Al-Shah like Abel did. Okay, it says, And the souls of the just complain continually, man. And that's Ezekiel the ninth chapter, verse 4. Set a mark upon the men that sign, I cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. That mark is a thawah to be exempt from the judgment. All right. And therefore, say the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. So the Lord about to put a lot of people to death in these last days only save as he like. Why? Because the earth is wicked. And that's why we, we teach repentance to the children of Israel, man. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Americans, you have to get right in these last days because, you know, this world is wicked. So if you love the world, matter of fact, let me get that right now. Uh, let me get this preset. This is the book of, um, this is good too. Let me see. Bear with me, I can slack it. So let's get uh Where you at? First John 2 and 15. It says, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him, because the world is satanic. Okay, is wicked. So if you love the world, the love of the most high Yahweh Bashima Shai is not in you. You don't love Yahweh Bashima Shai if you love this world. You cannot serve two masters. We're in the world, use it, not abusing it, and we hate this place, man. And we love Yahweh Bashima Shai. We love righteousness. Okay? We don't love wickedness. 
and that spirit you should, you should be in. This is for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes. And the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passeth away and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of the Heavenly Father abideth forever, man. So that's what we do in the will of the Father in these last days, because we want to abide forever. So this world is satanic, is demonic, is evil, and it's going to pass away. All right? I'm about to get judged horrifically, man. All you people in this world, too, are going to get put to death in horrific ways. Because you refuse to repent and get right to you Israelites, man. All right? Let's get Revelation 18 chapter now. Get a couple more. This us start verse... Uh, straight to the point verse 4. Because it's going to Babylon, which is America. All right? Verse 4 says, I heard, And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. All right? So... You got to, you know, spiritually detached from America, Babylon, great, detached from this world because it's just wicked. It's openly satanic and demonic, man. All right. So come out of this place. All right. So you don't, so you won't receive of the plagues that's coming here with some major plague is what the ICBM nuclear missiles, the fire, the second death. It says for her sins have reached into heaven and the heavenly father have remembered her iniquities. All right. You reward her even as she rewarded you and doubled her double according to her works. And the cup which I feel filled to her double. And, you know, some of the sins they were doing. Let's give um, wisdom of Psalm 14 and 23. This is going to the idols. King Psalm is breaking it down to different idols that they were doing back then. All right. Let's just get straight to the point. Verse 23. Wisdom of Psalm 14 and 23. For whilst they slew their children in sac... That's, that's sin. That's off. While they slew their children in sacrifices, or you secret ceremonies, or made revelings of strange rites. They kept neither lives nor marriages any longer undefiled, but either one stew or another treasurely or grieved them by adultery. And that's all they do in the industry. That's all they do in this world, man. It is it's just evil. Let's jump down. For the verse 27, it says, now let's read on down, man. Verse 25, so that, so that there reigned in all men without exception blood, manslaughter, death, and dis, um, dissimulation, corruption, unfaithfulness, tumult, perjury, disquieting of good men, Forgetfulness of good turns, defiling of souls, changing of kind, disorder in marriages, adultery, and same shameless uncleanness. For the worshiping of idols not to be named is the beginning, the cause, and the end of all evil, man. I should have started with that precept, man. Okay, for the worshiping of idols, which is by all, not to be named in the beginning, and other idols as well, right? We got Bell and the Dragon, all type of idols. It says, the cause and the end of all evil, man. Okay? It all stems from that. Okay? It says, um, for either they were mad when they be merry or prophesy lies or live unjustly or else light forswear themselves. For inasmuch as their trust is, is in idols which have no life, though they swear falsely, yet they look not to be hurt. Howbeit for both causes shall they be justly punished. So the Heavenly Father about to punish the wicked, man. Okay? It says, both because they thought not well of the Heavenly Father, giving heed unto the idols, and also unjustly sworn deceit, despising holiness, for it is in the for it is not for it is not the power of them by whom they swear, but it is the just vengeance of sinners that punisheth always the offense of the ungodly, man. So you people about to get put to death in these last days, straight up. The founder, Balenciaga, all you wicked ass demonic Edomites are going to die soon, man, for your wickedness, man. All right, your blatant, open Satanism, it is all demonic, man. Okay, so it's high time to awake out of, out of sleep, you know, repent in these last days for you Israelites out there, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native and Seminole Indians, you know, it's time for you to get right, you know, um, and detach from this wicked ass world, man, because all hell about to break loose and a little bit to judge this place horrifically for his wickedness. So I'm in it there and I pray he's edified. I'm going to give Kohen Laim La, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Ba'chak Dash. Double honor to the elders and apostles, the great millstone, peace and salutations to the elect scattered abroad, pushing his truth and sincerity. Without him, say Shalom, Ba'ababa, Shalom.